hello video passionates welcome back to my channel if you are my long time viewers it's so great to have you back here with me and to all my new viewers a big and warm welcome to our growing community my name is Janet, and i'm truly excited to have each and every one of you here the goal of today's video is to unleash the updated and exciting new features that CapCut has to offer us the users if you are new here and you love what i do please support my channel by subscribing hit on the notification bell like and share if you have any question regarding this tutorial or any other tutorial in my channel please feel free to drop it in the comment section and if you have a request for anything at all you want me to do kindly drop it in the comment section and i will definitely attend to you as soon as possible so let's begin All know what camera is but CapCut has some nice effects added to their own and that makes it special so when you tap on camera sorry you're not going to see me but you see my beautiful mannequin when you tap on camera you tap on this effect we have some amazing effects here you wait for it to load we can add this effect to the eye or maybe you want to do like a superhero kind of thing so you can use this set your camera and you can use that and here this arrow okay if you tap on this arrow if you want to flip your camera it's the first one teleprompter i've made a video on it if you've not watched it the link is up there you can choose to increase the speed of your video here you can add filter let me add a nice filter to my beautiful baby okay you can <laughs> you can add filter you can adjust the timer here it's going to like give you time to prepare maybe like three seconds five seconds to oh, three to five seconds to prepare then you have duration if you want it for 60 seconds one minute after that you tap on start then you have flash you can on your flash and video resolution you can increase it but I think that's um, 180 is okay. So once you are done with all those settings, you tap on this. Then you record your video. And that's how the camera works. AI module. This is another beautiful AI with standby module for you. For, for for fashion brands those that sell clothes and stuff so we have module here that will wear your outfit for you wear what you sell for you and you can easily save it and post just like that other first one that you can type something and the ai will generate it for you but this time you will upload your your own products then the the ai module will wear your product and then you can save so when you tap on it I have some outfits here some were not supported so you tap on this one to pick any module that you want let's assume i like this lady then you tap on that arrow i like this outfit tap on generate and here you have it once the ai has generated for you just tap on export and done we have a retouch this retouch is also used for to edit is for picture editing so without too much talk just tap on it select your picture you can see first thing we want to do is to let's do color balancing so smooth i would like to take it to like 100 percent now skin tone i've done a video on this retouch you can check it up i'll leave the link up here skin i think i like this perfect but you can yeah, adjust it but i think i like it here brightness you can increase the brightness a little bit then white teeth let's make this teeth mm. perfect smile lines we don't want a lot of smile lines so we reduce it a little bit 
everything you are doing make sure at least it looks like the picture don't take the beauty of your main picture away dark circles don't do that too much so you won't go too black then once you are done i think we still have more reshape if you want to shape your your any part of your of your model face you can change it the eye the nose the mouth the eyebrow you can decide to change it then the makeup you can add any makeup i've done a video on this so just check the link up there then you can adjust the body to the waist you can decide to adjust it or reduce it you want to make it slim it's not really showing because even the image itself is not it's not that fat so you're not going to see a lot on this one so once you are done editing you tap on here to export hi product shoot this feature will help you with your product editing people that say like body care products that's all those things that are packed so this feature will help them to brand their products a lot better without stressing too much so tap on that ai photo shoot tap on the product edit and the ai is going to remove the background of that of that image then you select from any of these available options and your product is here so once i'm okay with any of the background you can always change it to whatever you want and here you have your product one thing i've noticed about this ai photo shoots is that it doesn't take portrait image it only takes a landscape image so when you are taking picture of your image of your product rather make sure you take it in a landscape and not portrait so once you are done tap on check adjust it and make it to be full do whatever thing you can now write your name on it or your brand toothpick something like this change the font change the color change everything you want to change make it look the way you want and you export remove background like the name already sounds helps to remove background just tap on it import your image and the ai will automatically remove the background for you tap on that check now the background you can now change it to any background you want just like that you've done studio work in few seconds once you are done with your editing you can resize it to instagram size facebook size or even youtube thumbnail once you resize it and do whatever you want to do export this ai enhance it helps to enhance your pictures or your video just tap on it select any of the pictures you want and you can see the initial picture and just wait and see when ai will enhance it you can see it's now looking very clear and clean even though it's not perfect you can always adjust it add your filter the way i've done in the previous steps and do your thing once you are done export and lastly on our list is the arrangement of your um interface no i forgot if you are new to cap cuts you might want to cut away this default ending my i've, I've already cut away it, that's why so you just need to tap on it and then you discard so it's going to cut away that default ending here you can choose to rearrange how you want how you want your interface to be it can be grid or it can be list or it can be templates all these are templates that i saved already from tiktok so you can leave it on camera or just arrange it the way you want so that's just all okay this will be all for today's tutorial guys thanks for watching please like and share and subscribe to my youtube channel until next time bye